it's me, Allie. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a magical day. Today, I have another Disney DIY crafts and home decor and apparel and just basically everything Disney video for you. I made in this video this freaking awesome Disney patch jean jacket and I am just so so proud of it. We have Daisy, we have Donald, we have Dole Whip, we have the teacups, we have the Musketeer patch. On the back we have Mickey, we have Minnie, we have Pluto, we have Goofy, we have Mickey's hand. And it was so, so cheap to make. All of these crafts today and all of these DIYs in this video today are super, super cheap and easy to make. They were all inspired by the wonderful world of Pinterest. I will link my whole Disney playlist in the description below if you want to check that out. And as always, if you have any other questions and concerns after watching this video, just ask them in the comments below and I will try my very, very hardest to get back to you as soon as possible. So without further ado, let's just get right on into it. So for this first DIY project, my favorite, favorite of this entire video, you're going to need a bunch of different Disney patches. You can find these pretty much anywhere nowadays. You can get them at Walmart, on eBay, on Amazon, on Etsy, etc. And all of the patches that I got were anywhere between a dollar to $19.99 for a pack of six patches. This first DIY is extremely easy and extremely self-explanatory. All you want to do is take your jean jacket, place it down on a table, and then take all of your patches and start playing around with where you want them to be on your jacket. I played around with this a bunch of different times until I was happy with the design. And then all you're going to do is just hand stitch them onto the jean jacket, sew them onto the jean jacket with a sewing machine, or use some fabric glue. If you plan on using just fabric glue, I would definitely suggest to take a heavier object and place it on top of the patches after you glue them onto the jean jacket to ensure that there are no air bubbles and to ensure that the patch dries flat. Once all of the patches have been sewed on, stitched on, or glued on, make sure that they are all sturdy in place and then just flip your jean jacket over and repeat the exact same process to the front. And that's pretty much all it takes to make this beautiful DIY Disney patch jean jacket. I was so inspired by the Disney patch jean jacket that you can get at Zara. I actually tried to go there in Disney Springs in February and they were completely sold out. I wanted it so, so bad. So I decided, you know what? I'm just going to make one myself and I'm actually really happy that they were sold out because I had so much fun making this. I think it looks amazing. It is so original and it is a fraction of the cost. If you already have a jean jacket at home, you can make one of these for under $20. How cool is that? Because unicorns are pretty much taking over the world right now, I thought that it would be really fun to make a pair of floral unicorn Mickey ears. To start this DIY off, you want to cut a slab of polymer clay off, and you just want to mold it in your hands, knead it together in your hands, warm it up between your palms so it is easier to work with. Once it is easier to work with, you want to take that clay and you just want to make it into the shape of a unicorn horn. Thank you. 
Once you have your unicorn horn cone-like shape molded out, you just want to press it down on a flat surface and roll it out to ensure that all the outer edges are nice and smooth. Then you want to take your horn, place it on a piece of aluminum foil, and bake it in the oven at 275 degrees for about 15 minutes. When you bake polymer clay in the oven, it becomes very, very hard. Now for the fun part, once the clay has cooled down, you want to take some gray paint or some silver paint and you just want to paint all over the horn and then immediately after, while the paint is still wet, you want to take some silver glitter and sprinkle it all over your horn. The last step for completing the horn is optional. If you want to make sure that that glitter is going to stay intact, take some Mod Podge and dab it all over the horn and then allow it to dry. When Mod Podge dries, it dries clear, so you're basically just going to be sealing that glitter in. Next up, time to assemble the Mickey ears. I started off by taking a white headband and I put a generous amount of hot glue to the center of the headband to stick on my unicorn horn. Now, a lot of you guys asked me in any or all of my Mickey ear tutorials if using hot glue is good enough or if you should be using something stronger. I personally only use hot glue whenever I'm making Mickey ears and I've had some of my homemade Mickey ears for over two years now, so I can't speak for other glues, but I can say that hot glue works very, very well. After the unicorn horn has been glued onto the headband, then you want to glue on your Mickey ears as well. I am using two embroidery hoops that I got at Michael's for under a dollar a piece after using a coupon, and to make them white, I just spray painted them. And last but not least, we cannot forget about the bright and colorful flowers. Take some fake flowers that you can buy at the Dollar Tree, cut the stems off, and just hot glue them down onto the headband. And here's the final product. I am so freaking beyond obsessed with the way that these came out. I think that they are so cute, so trendy, and seriously so cheap and easy to make. I believe this pair of ears was under $5 to make. I will 110% be wearing these on my Disney bachelorette party weekend this summer. The third DIY project in this video, the Winnie the Pooh flower pot is hands down the easiest and the cheapest of all the projects in today's video. What you're going to need is a flower pot, I got mine at Home Depot for like 79 cents, some paint, optional a paint pen, and some flowers. I started off by taking my flower pot and taking a paint pen and just sketching out some dripping down honey, and then I just filled in all of the top portion where I have the dripped honey in with some yellow paint. As the yellow paint is drying, you just want to take a black paint pen or just some black paint with a paintbrush and you want to write out honey, H-U, backwards N, N-Y, onto the bottom center portion of your flower pot.
The last and final step is just to fill your pot up with some beautiful yellow flowers. Boom! Your very own Winnie the Pooh Honey Pot Flower Pot. This project only costs about $2.50 to make and it only took up about 10 minutes of my time. That is the perfect formula for a beautiful, cheap and easy DIY craft that is guaranteed to brighten up any room you put it into and guaranteed to grab people's attention. And last up, a DIY Disney doormat. Just another way to Disneyfy the space that you are living in. For this project, you are going to need a burlap doormat. You can find these on Amazon, at Walmart, at Target, etc. And they're actually relatively inexpensive to buy, which is a huge, huge plus. Start off by taking a sponge brush and some black acrylic paint. Make sure that it is acrylic paint and sponge on a little bold border around your burlap doormat. Then think about what quote you want to have on your doormat and sketch it out on a piece of computer paper. I ended up going with Be Our Guest because Beauty and the Beast is clearly my favorite Disney classic movie. It just seemed fitting and it also is a great way to welcome people into my house. Once you have it sketched out, just cut the letters out, leaving the stencil behind. To finish up this craft, take your stencil, place it down on your doormat, then take some push pins and push the pins right into the computer paper to hold it in place. And lastly, take that same sponge brush and black acrylic paint that you were previously using and just sponge the paint down into the stencil. Once you've painted all of the inside of the stencil, remove all of your push pins, remove your stencil, and you should be left with your first word. Then just repeat the process with all of your other words. Allow the paint to dry completely and voila, you have your very own handmade DIY Disney doormat. And that is it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you thought in the comments below and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and you enjoy my videos. If you try any of these crafts or projects out for yourself, please take a picture and send it to me on Instagram or on Twitter. I would love to see your recreations. I love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support. It means the absolute world to me. I hope you're having a beautiful day and I will talk to you all soon. Bye guys!